Friends, Mahatma Gautam Buddha was a wise and great person. He tried to spread his mercy, kindness, love and knowledge among people and he used to teach this teaching to all his disciples. Mahatma Gautam Buddha had thousands of disciples. When one of his disciples attained enlightenment, he would send him in a certain direction and say, Go there and spread the light of your knowledge among all people. Awaken all people, inform them about religion and knowledge, solve people's problems. Remove their ignorance. Teach them what you have learned. But among the disciples of the great Buddha, there was a disciple who was with Gautam Buddha for many years. The disciple felt that he had achieved enlightenment and now it was time for him to go either way. He thought, I will also impart my knowledge to people and awaken them. One day, the disciple went to Gautam Buddha and said, O oh Gurudev, I have been with you for almost six years. I remember everything you taught me during these six years. Many disciples have come here after me and you have sent them in one direction or another. But why have you not sent me in any direction yet? Gurudev, have I done something wrong? Or am I lacking in something? Or do you think that I have not attained enlightenment. Hearing this, Gautam Buddha smiled and said, My dear disciple, I do not know whether you have attained enlightenment or not. You must know that yourself. Hearing this from Buddha, the disciple said, O oh Gurudev, I have memorized all that you have taught me in these few years. You can test me if you want. Please give me a chance and trust me. Trust me so that, like other disciples, I can awaken people. I can enlighten them with knowledge. I can make people see the path. I can solve people's problems. After listening to the disciple, Buddha said, Remembering knowledge does nothing. Knowledge has to be a part of your life. Until you yourself acquire knowledge, you cannot convince anyone else to acquire knowledge. If you do this, people will call you a fool and insult you instead of believing you. Hearing Buddha's words, the disciple said, Let it be, Gurudev, give me a chance, so that I can spread my fame among the people. Trust me, I will be able to influence people with my knowledge. I will give people a lot of knowledge. I will fill them with knowledge. Their lives will be filled with such happiness and peace and joy that they can spend the rest of their lives in happiness and peace. Mahatma Buddha said, You are not yet ready for all this. 
when i think you are ready for all this i myself will send you in a certain direction the disciple said gurudev have you not given me this much knowledge in all these years so that i can influence people don't you have this much faith in me can't you trust me in all these years i have learned a lot from you i have learned so much give me a chance in spite of knowing everything buddha gave his disciple a chance he then said to his disciple okay tomorrow you will go to the east after going some distance you will find a village you should bring arms from that village and help all the people there with your knowledge solve their problems and return from there then you must tell me all you'll go out early tomorrow morning hearing these words of buddha the disciple was very happy he then bowed to buddha and went to his hut he could not sleep well all night he started waiting for morning he started thinking about knowledge all night long he began to think to himself tomorrow i'll put up an impression of wisdom and impart such knowledge that people will be influenced by me gautam buddha will be influenced by me and he will be proud of me after spending the night like that when the morning came he went to gautam buddha and bowed to him and left for the village in the east when the disciple went to the village no one paid attention to him no one gave alms everyone misbehaved with the disciple no one in the whole village gave him alms only one person in the entire village gave him alms that person threw alms at the disciple from a distance the disciple was very angry at this favor of the man and did not accept the arms people treated him very badly the disciple then thought where gurudev sent me it is impossible to talk to the people here he spent the whole day like that and in the evening went to buddha when the disciple approached buddha gautam buddha saw the disciple's head in zio and bleeding Buddha then seated the disciple near him and applied the medicine then he asked how did you hurt your head the disciple said gurudev the people of that village are completely uneducated and uncivilized there is no such thing as intelligence among them I only asked for alms from them but none of them gave me alms everyone abused me even though one gave he didn't give it to me he threw it on the ground and said to me pick it up it's yours then i was very angry but i restrained my anger and tried to explain to him a lot but he did not understand anything he does not have that much sense in his head when i tried to explain to him instead of taking knowledge he started quarreling and chasing me those people started throwing stones at me to chase me away that's why i got this injury on my head gurudev I will never go to that village again to beg. You sent me to another place. You don't send me to that village again. Now send me to a village where the people are wise. 
who know how to treat a monk then gautam buddha smiled and said what will you do if the people in the other direction where i will send you are the same then the disciple said if so no one can give them knowledge they are ignorant stupid and uncivilized who can give them knowledge giving time to these people is a waste of time i can't waste time with these people no i will never give my knowledge to these people then gautam buddha said dear disciple they are not only ignorant but they have a wealth of knowledge but their problem is that that knowledge is their own now if you tell others about their knowledge if your knowledge is the cause of their problem won't they tell you anything how can that be it won't be these are the people you will see everywhere everywhere you turn you will see these people so who will you give your knowledge to how will you do good to people well all right go and take rest today and come to me tomorrow evening the disciple bowed to buddha and went to his cottage he came to gautam buddha the next evening and saw that buddha already had a disciple and that his hand was injured buddha was nursing the hand of the disciple and asked him how the injury occurred then the disciple said oh gurudev i went to the village where you asked me to go when i went there and started begging no one gave me arms but people started cursing and scolding me but there was a kind person in that village who gave me arms but he also threw the arms on the ground i picked up that great arms and put it in my bag and blazed the man when i blazed the man he said to me i insulted you but you blessed me you are a strange person then i said you are a very kind person so i blessed you but as soon as i moved from there the rest of the people started misbehaving again and pelting stones at me so i got hurt but when i was returning from the village towards the ashram i saw a man on the road side he was very worried about his sick son saying this i went into the forest and collected some herbal plants and wanted to give them to the child but the people there wouldn't let me give anything then i begged them with folded hands so that i could treat the child i told them please let me treat the child once then you can do anything with me if you want i will leave this place and never will come back but once let me solve the sick child then the person who gave me that great arms convinced the rest of the people then i served the child and the child recovered then the village people repented of the ill treatment they had done to me and thanked me gurudev those people are very naive they have a lot to be taught if you order i want to go to that village to beg every day the other disciple was standing there silently listening to that disciple now he fell at gautam buddha's feet and said gurudev i understand what you meant 
I have not yet fit enough to develop wisdom in the minds of men to give them the address of happiness and peace, to show them the path of knowledge. Then Gautam Buddha said, We see the people outside as like we are inside. So, if anyone has to change, it's ourselves. First of all, we have to change ourselves. Until I can change myself, I can't change anything outside. You need to make a change in yourself before you teach someone else. It is very important to bring it into your own behavior or other people will take it wrongly. You have to be a laughing stock to other people. Friends, what piece of advice did Gautam Buddha use to give others? He used to follow it himself. First, he would apply everything in his own life. Then he would teach others and ask them to accept it. We learn a great lesson in our life from this practice of his. Friends, please comment on what you learned from today's episode.